Yo, what is up guys? This is the Brick Joe here, and we have four new Avatar sets that are going to be in that first wave, October 1st. We saw that one set be released or revealed on LegoCon, and just ahead of San Diego Comic-Con here, we have the other four sets for that first wave. I want to give you my thoughts overall on Lego Avatar, these sets, and kind of just the theme in general. To save, time, to save some time too, I'm not even going to try to pronounce a lot of these. But first up here, as you can see, we basically have a little battle going on with uh, a mech. And this set in general, I'm a bit surprised with the um, use of, I would say, quote unquote, militarized style of uh, this mech. And then also to, you know, one of the characters from the original Avatar, you know, it basically is a Colonel Miles. It's Colonel Miles. And in my opinion, that is pretty much equivalent to, again, a little bit more militarized. And so I'm a little bit surprised to see Lego, you know, include that in here you know in this set um specifically to the minifigure um i i feel like that's a little bit of an interesting uh take for them to include that um not that i personally care but again just from their stance on previous sets and their stance on sort of military uh vehicles and military personnel um you know having that included in lego uh lego form has been a big no-no and I'm both surprised to see that so very interesting and obviously, too, the big thing here we're, we're getting are the woody legs. That's something that I think in general is just a bit surprising. Um, we, you know, we had the woody legs from the Toy Story 3 sets. But then when we had Woody back in the Disney CMF series, we did not see that. And um, I'm a little bit surprised to see them bring it back for this. I'm okay with that. Um, I think in general, um, we, let's move on to the next set here. I have a little bit more of uh, some thoughts on the legs. Um, and, and then this next site here, uh, one thing that I'm just not a big fan of in, in general in Lego form is this use of basically this, um, yeah, like this sort of like this just pin down this kind of, uh, this sheet here for the wings to me, it just doesn't, uh, look great. Um, one thing I do enjoy about this set though, is a lot of the, um, sort of rock work here of Pandora. And in general, with, with the other sets, too, I think that's sort of one of the highlights. You know, it's just a very interesting world, lots of colors. I think they did a good job representing it in a lot of these sets, even though, you know, this one here, it's a pretty small little build there. I think in general, those are some, uh, they include some interesting pieces in some interesting colors. And uh, that's some of the highlights, I think, in general for these four sets. Uh, moving on here for this next one, this is kind of like, a, a, I feel like the big vehicle one that, you know, you can buy, get sort of the helicopter as well. Um, I think this one is going to be um, probably uh, the most interesting from a minifigure perspective, given that you get the long legs um, that aren't printed in this sort of this neutral, I'm not sure the exact color here, but a very neutral color without any printing on it. You know, uh, people who maybe want those long legs to use in mocks or for other things, this will probably be a good chance to get them without any printing. So that way it wouldn't, you know, it's it's not super specialized to just Lego Avatar uh, in general. But yeah, this set I think, you know, is is, is fine. It's, uh, you know, I feel like it's getting sort of the, you know, vehicle set at that $100 uh, price point, one of the larger sets uh, in this wave besides that one we saw in uh, Lego Comic-Con here which I think is still probably the best out of the wave. You know, we just get a lot of that uh, sort of scenery, like I said, of Pandora. And I personally find that to be um, some of the best aspects uh, of this theme. But moving on to the last one here of this, uh, these, you know, this, the four new sets that they released. It's going to be Brickheads. Not too much to say here. Um, if you're into Brickheads, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. If you're not, you're not. Um, I do think that there are some uh, interesting printed pieces here. Uh, included in this brick heads if that was something uh, of interest to you but yeah overall thoughts on the sets here i would say um in general with the avatar lego avatar sets i mean these are geared towards the first movie um which you know i did come out quite a while ago obviously they're going to be having that uh sequel here releasing in december and in general, for that movie, they're throwing everything at, you know, marketing and ensuring that this is going to be a huge box off office. You know, uh, this is a James Cameron movie. I, I, I'm i not sure how I feel about the sequel. I feel like, yeah, it's just been really long since the first one. I thought the first one was pretty good. 
Um, I don't remember it being like, you know, absolutely amazing. I remember it being a good movie to see in theaters, but I feel like this second movie, you know, it's just, it's, it has the marketing and it has the momentum to, you know, be a huge box office and Lego seems to, you know, get their, seems to have gotten their hands on the IP for this and it's definitely making use of it, you know, and hyping it up before, um, you know, this sequel here with, uh, these five sets, but I'm just interested, I'm, I'm just a little bit questionable in general, how the movie is going to do how it's going to be perceived by people, you know, despite all this um, sort of push and marketing effort, you know, to make it a big box office. Um, and so uh, how do I feel about these sets? I guess in in some way, too, from a, um, you know, investing perspective, I'll definitely probably kind of have my eyes on these sets just going uh, in the future. Like I said, I'm not sure how strongly I feel about this sort of uh, reboot, uh, uh, you know, of Avatar and the sequels that they have planned for it. And so, you know, for potentially, you know, something happened with that. And so, and, you know, after this uh, first sequel, some things fell through. And it turns out, you know, we didn't get a lot of Avatar sets, you know, overall or whatnot. You know, that these do have some interesting pieces uh, and interesting minifigures that I think, you know, potentially could be valuable depending on how, uh, you know, this this reboot of this franchise is going to be uh, uh, going. So that's just something I'm keeping an eye on here. I and mean, that's years out. Uh, you know, these sets will be available for quite a while, but just some things I have in the back of my mind kind of going forward uh, with the release of this new movie. You know, I'm interested to see how well it does. And, um, you know, maybe that'll be indicative of if we're going to be seeing more sets of this or, or not. And then, yeah, kind of that might shape a little bit to uh, buying decisions if, you know, I'm planning on maybe to resell some of these, you know, years down the road. Again, just thoughts, things in the back of my mind, but it's something that um, you know I think is beneficial to think about early just so you don't uh, uh, miss out. All right, let me know your guys' thoughts on these five sets. What do you guys think about the Lego Avatar theme? Um, and what are your thoughts in general about the, um, I, I, said, I said reboot, but really, you know, the sequel and going forward, uh, you know, of uh, Avatar in general, or you think it's going to do well? And how do you think that might translate to Lego? All right, if you guys are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, this is the Brick Joe signing off.